behind me is a sign which says Milwaukee and it says welcome to Rome because I am in Rome in Italy just in case you didn't know where Rome was how amazing is that so Milwaukee have invited me over to their OPE conference to have a look at all of their new 2024 lineup of products to show you what is going to be available for next year we are well excited about checking out the products we flew in yesterday we had a little bit of a tour around Rome didn't see as much of it as I wanted to so I'm gonna to have to come back now Ugh, unbelievable and then we went and had some amazing dinner last night and some great entertainment so here's a few clips of that we are currently going on a misguided tour of all this here there's loads of big buildings yeah. I mean, it is all very very impressive I don't know where we're going the first piece of machinery spotted the Cabelco digger so this here is the Chevy Fountain apparently. I'd never even heard of it. I thought we were coming to see the Colosseum, but no, this is got some nice clear water in the bottom of there. Look at that. Look at the people. Yeah, lots of people isn't my thing, but there's a lot of people here. Very touristy. My favourite time of day we found some food. We're going into a restaurante. When in Rome, well, you know, you know the rest. <laughs> So yeah, today we are going to check out the new products, which are just, oh, you know how much I love red and black, if you follow our channel anyway. The red and black tools, is, is what I'm about. I love them, they're great. So it's gonna be great to see what else they have got available. So yeah, we're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button, ding the notification bell. Let's go check it all out. Gathering here in the room at the moment, waiting to go and see some new products. Because apparently we've just been told that lawn care is our first stop. So who doesn't love lawn care? I'm quite excited. Here we are coming to the lawn care station first. This is the whole UK group. So this is the brand new 46 centimeter or 18 inch Milwaukee mower. Oh yes, it's the smaller version of the 21 inch. That one there, that they have now released. It looks good, it looks amazing. It's got all of the key features that the previous mower had. Same controls. We've done the full review on the 21 inch earlier in the year and it's amazing to see an 18 inch because here in the UK, an 18 inch mower is a great, great asset. Love them. So the 18 inch mower in action. Modeled by Woody from Honey Brothers. Doing a cracking job. Amazing. The latest attachment to the quick lock system is the 22 centimeter cultivator attachment working to a 12 inch depth earlier in the year we've done a review of lots of different versions of these so gonna have to do another one now oh, i've just been giving a free milwaukee hat so now i look like timmy mallet great right move on to the next station tree cat oh yeah chainsaws love chainsaws this is the new pole saw, but not only pole saw, it's a telescopic pole saw. Oh yes, you can make it longer and shorter to suit your needs. At the moment, Milwaukee have only previously offered the quick lock attachment for their multi-tool, but now having a telescopic option is, yeah, great news. Right, let's go and see it being compared against other products on the market. Let's go see the difference between the still petrol, Husqvarna petrol, and the Milwaukee battery powered brand new telescopic pole saw. Milwaukee first still.
safety helmet platform from the walkie called the Bolt, which is made of Lexan rather than an ABS material. We have this really cool platform behind us where we can put the helmets at the bottom and see what the difference is between ABS and Lexian to see what the benefit is. Two, three, two, one. So that is the results there. You can see a great big dent, so that's going to give someone a proper headache. Where is that one? Oh, nice and smooth. Oh yeah. So now in one of my favorite areas, the workshop area, with all the tools, all the storage, new tools. Let's go and check some. This is the Walton M12 MPTR new ratchet, which is amazing. As you can see, it's got a hole in the top there, because these sockets are especially developed. Can fit right in, giving a lot slimmer line. Better work everything through. I put that on the wrong side now. Look, yeah, I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. That'll fit in there, like I said, giving a lot of slimmer profile. So you're comparing that against previous versions, you can see everything is a lot slimmer to be able to get in there. By the time you put a socket on the end of that, it'd make a big, big difference. The massive advantage is you can go right through with your bolt, so you're not restricted. So long bolts, that demonstrate. Look at Robbie Lynn from Premier Lawns over here, look, rocking out with his pack out. Look at this. What is, what's your favorite bit of pack out, Rob? The pack out boxes. The boxes. Oh, the, the cabinets. The cabinets, these here. Yeah, I love the drawers. We're gonna make them a net. Yeah. I'm not gonna make them a net. Or we're gonna take those and put those in our van. We'll have that and everything's stored lovely. Yeah. Awesome. Right, away from the walkie a little bit, I just need to focus on this driving range ball collecting tractor, hence why it is looking like it's going to go into a zombie apocalypse. But look at it, look at the protection. We've got chicken mesh, we've got plastic mesh, we've got weld mesh, everything. I don't even know what make it is, what make is that? Anyone tell me in the comments what tractor that is, please. I don't know, but I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. Now we have the brand new telescopic. Oh yes, that's two telescopic things in one day. She is, oh yeah, up to four centimeter cutting performance. And it's telescopic, which is amazing. Running on the M18 platform, that has got the eight. And it has got the 5.5 amp hour battery in, which can do up to 2000 cuts on one charge. Pretty impressive stuff. As you may have seen in a recent comparison video, I had this very head trimmer here, the CHT, in a comparison video against lots of other head trimmers. And if there was one thing I could say it let it down was on the blade setup. It's quite a basic blade setup. But now they have released a new one, which the new one now has a new blade setup, which is double reciprocating blades on both sides. It's got the blade protector. You've got a lot of room up at the top there to be able to get into the material. And it's also got the tip protector on the end. I think that's going to be a great addition to their hedge trimming range. Look at those precision cut blades. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. So a new addition for the quick lock system is a short reach hedge trimmer. Oh yes, so now you can use it as a sort of handheld hedge trimmer as well as using it with this one. Now time for the handheld shears. Am I gonna do a proper video on one of these soon? Because I'm well excited about it. I love pruning. If you're pruning in an apple tree all day, something like this is amazing. But look at the trigger action. Just pull the trigger in. You can control it with your trigger. Or just do it like, look how fast that is. Madly fast. Pull it down here now on a nice big chunky bit. There we go. Oh, wow. Amazing. The most exciting one now. We are coming into doing the construction equipment with the MX batteries. Ah, yes. So here we have the MX disc cutters. Oh, yes. This is the first generation, which some of you will be familiar with. This is the second generation saw. Look at it. What a beast. And the 20 inch plate compactor. Oh my god, that is a sexy machine. There's no getting away from that. But the best thing about this, it doesn't just go forwards, it's got reverse. Look at these controls, right? It's the only one on the market that has forward and reverse, has two different speeds. Amazing. Let's check it out. These 
are the new Forge MX batteries. And you're going to be seeing Forge a lot more of Milwaukee products going forward because they have developed a new style of battery. And let me show you, this is an 8 amp, amp battery in the MX. And you can see the size difference between the original and the new one. There is a big, big difference. And also, that has a massively good charge time. Even the 12 amp only takes an hour to charge in their new super duper fast charger. Time to play with some blowers. Ah. This is the new Milwaukee backpack blower. Oh yes. Look how cool this is, right? So you've got two batteries at the top. Then you can also put them. There we go. So you can put in four 12 amp power M18 batteries into this. What a weapon. Machine. Run times of up to an hour on the four batteries. Look at the controls on here. Look. Yeah, awesome. Love it. Last year they launched the dual battery handheld blower. Bit of kit. But now we have a new single battery blower, which is the Gen 3 version of this. And it is 10 decibels quieter than its predecessor, which is considerable because there's nothing worse than the noise of a blower. It's whiny, it's just noisy. So 10 decibels lower is amazing. And it's also now got a variable trigger. So now listen to this. Okay, it still sounds like a blower, but it's definitely quiet. So we're on the battery stage of the walkie, having a look at all the difference between batteries and what's going on with them. Behind me is a freezer, and um, Robbie from Premier Launch is in the freezer right now, because they have put batteries in the freezer. Milwaukee batteries, still batteries, and Hasfana batteries, and we're going to see what the difference is between them with minus 27.7 degrees to see how well they work. Let's check out the test. Can you confirm that it's really cold? Yeah, that's very cold. Can I have it, can I have it back? <laughs> so, fully charged. So let's do a small competition. Who can cut faster through this wood? Milwaukee versus steel. Three, two, one, go. Put it on first, green light is there, nothing is happening. As soon as I take it out, we can press for the charge and you can see that it has the warning light there. That was a pretty cool test to see how well those batteries performed. Minus 27.7 degree. Have you ever wondered what the inside of a battery looks like? That's what the inside of an eager battery looks like. That's what the inside of a still battery looks like inside of a Hasfana battery and that is the inside of a Milwaukee battery. That is my Milwaukee adventure all done. We have seen loads of stuff. It's been well exciting and thank you very much Milwaukee for inviting me over to Rome to yeah, spend some time with them, have a look at all the tools. It's been absolutely great. It's been given a bit of top shelf material. Oh yeah, 2024 catalog for every single Milwaukee tool available. But they're bringing out so much that'll be out of date within a month because they just keep developing new products right across all of their ranges. And it's going to be exciting to see where Milwaukee go with the OP range. They're expanding year on year. That's 10 new products this year alone. So that's now 29 products, is it, in their range for 2024. They're doing a great job. So yeah, thank you very much. And if you want to win a Machinery Nation in Oregon collaboration t-shirt, drop a comment below and we'll choose a winner in a couple of weeks and let you know in our community tab. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Cheerio. Bye.